it's Laurie from Coast Guard Prepped, and today I have a very special something because it's um, the beginning of February and I have already completed my December daily album for 2020. I actually completed it um, back in January, but I'm just now getting around to filming my flip through of it. So I had this beautiful crepe paper um, snowflake patterned 6x8 album, and I decided that I was going to use these cool project six by eight project life pages to help uh, make it a little bit easier for me to get this album done. And I love these project life pages so much. I think I want to incorporate them into my 12 by 12 albums, but that's a story for another day. So basically what I did was I just used the pocket page cards. I um, did a little bit of journaling where necessary. I have um, so, you know, simple photos with just telling the, the date that the picture was taken. Um, and then along with the pocket pages, I did have the regular six by eight full pages. So I did do a couple traditional scrapbook style pages. Um, it was actually really hard in the smaller size. So not something that I'm super fond of doing every so often, but I'm glad that I do have sort of a variety going forward in here. Um, and then on the back side, obviously you had to do the bigger size. And then, um, so the, you saw some of the project life pages where it had the two, what were they? Three by four cards and then the four by six. So I also got ones that were four by six and four by six. And I was trying to, um, figure out what would work best with the photos that I had taken. So I did a lot of planning on this one in advance, which is something that I would recommend doing if you are doing a December daily and just going through your photos and kind of saying, well, this is a horizontal, this is a vertical, this one I can cut down like this one. One I made in like a wallet size um, taken from my Instagram stories. Yes. This one I also, this one I cut down really a whole lot. This was actually a four by six vertical and I think I cut it down into like a three by four size too. So basically that's that's kind of it. I used the Pretty Little Studio, a lot of their embellishments on this, and I incorporated a couple of embellishments that were in my my past uh, Christmas kits, Christmas paper kits. So I wanted to make sure that I knew what day each of the photos was on. If journaling was necessary, I included that as well. Um, some of these paper, papers and stuff is from Coco Vanilla Studios' Merry and Bright collection. I got some Pink Fresh Studio in here as well. Um, even when I was doing like these pages, these pocket pages, I did try to kind of like, I don't know, make it layout-y, if that makes any sense. So like these two papers are the same. These two papers are the same. So it kind of looks like it's going all the way across. Um, this is like, I have some very old Christmas stuff in here, which is really fun to be able to incorporate stuff from my stash. Um, I did a little bit more journaling here, especially for days where nothing really happened. I actually, I think every day up until the 25th, there was only one day where I didn't have a photo for it. So I managed to get a photo for December 12th. And then I basically just kind of wrote about um, a really terrible experience trying to do a drive through light show. And then I did add some envelopes in here. Normally, um, because of the holiday season, I'll have like a restaurant menu from a, a holiday a work party or something and I incorporate that in there and use it as a page to put photos on but I didn't have any of that this year because COVID we didn't do anything like that so I just grabbed some envelopes and I decorated them up really nice this one has I believe it's my daughter's Christmas list uh, her letter to Santa is going in here um, so I, I just kind of put that in where I thought that we had had written it and then a little bit later you'll see that there's another envelope that I decorated and this one actually has um, she's on the official nice list from Santa pretty cool huh yeah, I like that a lot. So I just kind of wanted to uh, keep those things documented as part of this album um, yeah. And then I have just a little bit more. This is December 15th. Um, sometimes if you're struggling to find things to take pictures of, I actually took a picture of um, a donation, a monetary donation that my daughter made to the 100 Neediest Cases in St. Louis, Missouri. It's an, uh, an organization that I think uh, really advertises it around the holiday season, but throughout the year they operate and they kind of um, adopt 100 100 families or 100 individuals who are in need of money or financial assistance in some way. Um, and so this money, we, instead of like adopting uh, a family, we just donated some money. You can see my daughter is here helping me. She's, she's such a good little helper. So that's what I took a picture of that day because I wanted to document her generosity. I asked her, where do you want this money to go? Um, and she was, she wanted it to go to children. So 
that's what we did there. Just have a couple of like easy layouts here. Um, a lot of things happened on December 16th. We got some snow on the 17th. Um, the 18th, my Mothers of Preschoolers group had goodie bags for everybody. So we went to the church to pick them up. Um, I decorated another envelope. So in here is actually the letter that the MOPS leadership sent to us, which was very nice. And I just wanted to keep that um, around back. Well, last year when COVID started, around Mother's Day, they did the same thing. They dropped off goodie bags at our houses. And then there was a really nice letter inside. So I just wanted to save that um, as a nice kind of reminder of not only what we did during the holiday season, but um, of other things that were part of the holiday season. So here's my kid um, eating a candy cane. I love that design. These were, anytime you see like the full six by eight, these were actually all paper issue sketches as part of their um, advent sketch challenge, advent calendar sketch challenge. So here's another one just of some fun drinks that we enjoyed around the holidays on that day. The, um, the light show. And I did uh, not on a couple of these, not on a lot of these, but on a couple of these, um, as you can see, this is actually on the outside of the page protector. I just popped it up on some foam. So I tried to do a little bit of that. Um, I really wanted to get this done and not spend too long on it because I didn't want to take away from scrapbooking all my other photos. However, there were some times where I was like, let's get a little creative and do a little bit something different because we can. Um, and that's what I like about these, these pocket protectors. So that takes us to the very last page, which is Christmas. So I just put, um, a, you know, a pocket life card, a, a cut apart card, did some journaling on the bottom of this cut apart card, had to cut that photo down. And then on this four by six photo, I just put the Ellie Studio puffy words, Merry Christmas on top. And that was it. December 25th, called it a day. The whole December daily album is done. Um, I didn't use up too much space in this album, but that's really good because the next step is to go through all the Christmas cards that we got. And I like to add those in, especially that's why I always get a D-ring album. So I will punch holes in those Christmas cards and then put them into this album. Um, hopefully I have enough room to do all of them. These D-rings are not as big as I normally use, but that's okay. So that's my next step. And honestly, I never do that. Um, I never f like finish my December daily album and have those in there. I usually like to sit and do that like while I watch TV or something like the Super Bowl is coming up. So I'm probably going to sit there and punch holes in Christmas cards and put them in this album or, you know, the Golden Globes are going to be the end of February if I don't get them all done. But uh, on the Super Bowl, I'll sit in front of the TV and watch the Golden Globes and do them. So I, I kind of like to um, not spend a whole lot of time in my scrap room, not scrapbooking and punching holes. Um, so I will set I will set that aside for for some TV watching time when I can like pay attention, but I don't really need to pay attention. And now I got to go pay attention to my kids. So thank you guys so much for watching this December daily flip through. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any questions about doing a December daily, um, I should have a link below to a blog post with some fun tips. And you can also leave me a comment and ask me any questions that you might have about the supplies that I used or December daily stuff in general. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, like if you enjoyed it and click subscribe below so you don't miss out on any other process videos and scrapbooking stuff. I'll see you guys next time, and so will all of my daughter's toys. <laughs> Bye. Happy scrapping.